G'day, Andrew from Lithium Valley Rocks Prospecting coming to you from my new fire bunker we had a fire in Bridgetown last year come pretty close to our place I uh, should have a knee replacement this December uh, I don't want to have to walk too far from the front door there we go to get into my fire bunker so it's so sort of like a trench in the house pad behind the house on the the batter behind the pad and dug down to the bedrock so we'll put on a reef uh, that can take a bit of dirt and insulate us from any fire that might come past or any 48 degree day but I'm also I've got another thing I've got to do um, <coughs> Moving a few of my precious rocks down here, got to protect them. But some of you might have seen on Facebook, uh, I posted that I'm going back to school, going back to Curtin to do a Masters in Geology. But I can hear you saying we didn't click on this to look at your bunker. We went on about the gold you found. Well, it's a big claim, finding gold on the Southwest Highway. But that's exactly what I've done. And I did the right thing and I started you know, notify the authorities that you yeah, found gold on the road and um, that you're going back to uni to study it. And before you know it, I, <laughs> the men in Black Ring here tell you that they had that idea too. And So, I'm bringing all my precious samples down here. See the layering? It's called Guys Are Right. That's right. Guys Are Right. And I found a geyser back in Donnybrook. So, you say, how can you say you found a geyser? There's no geysers in Donnybrook. Well, it's not any geysers now, but Donnybrook has epithermal gold, which is basically the plumbing system to geysers. So, can you see that? Even has bedding. Yeah, this breccia. It's called hydrothermal ejection breccia. Every time Old Faithful has a squirt, you know, a bit of this stuff blows out down the creek. So I say Old Faithful, well that's because 130 million years ago, Donnybrook looked a lot like Yellowstone. With geysers all over the place. Because I found evidence, not just one, but there's like about ten. So I've got to bring all my my precious stuff down here, like this one here. I've got to I've got to protect this one. Just one look at this one you can turn dogma on its head. So we've got to protect the authorities because we don't want them to come do any undue harm. So we've got a different type of geyser right. Some little black speckly bits on it. Crusty form quartz, but on that side, we got some pegmatite. So that's pretty funky. This one here, the center, salacious center, five parts colloidal silica, 
one part silicosis. So I'll leave that one there. So what we're going to be studying back at that curtain in the lab is all this alteration affects the isotope ratios of certain elements and using geochronology, thermochronology, uh, things like zircons and rutile, micas, even pleasure close feldspar, um, you can date when things got hot and changed which is pretty cool uh, some awesome guys at Curtin gonna help us out uh, anyway it's getting late so it's gonna distract anyone this this tourmaline doubles it's good for black magic so keep the men in black away maybe that one's got some perfide in it that's pretty cool and you see it's got green tourmaline right there this stuff here This is 100% uncut, high grey, green bushes, pink crystal, spodumene. And if you, you see those rusty spots there, it's got added uraninite to make it extra tasty. Those rusty spots are signs of radiation damage. From the uranium and the uran uraninite mineral. Alright, what else have we got? Oh, I've also got some spin effects textured, textured ultramafic. Oh, you see, just there, maybe some spin effects texture. That's from down the road at Kirup, it's pretty cool. And uh, uh, here we've got a nice breccia, hydrothermal breccia with uh, nice glass with a like a chlorite matrix. It's pretty funky, we'll date that. So that should tell us when that period of epithermal activity was. And there's heaps of this red rock alteration, like sandstone, partially kaolinized, but massive like hypergene iron, hypergene hematite deposition replacing sandstone so that's pretty funky there's lots of lots of pointers built lots of pointers at Donnybrook for something decent so some of the class in this breccia yeah, pretty big, as big as golf balls, bigger even and that center you just gold bearing. Crush it and you get, well, crush five kilos of it and you get like ten colours. So it's not really worth much, but it's pretty funky. Alright, some chloride suns we can now, or it's a spin effect replacement or something. Chloride replacement of actinolite, maybe. So, I've got a special gadget to show you that can show you the power of this prospector's stone. I'll just get it out. There we go now. I know you're saying, hey, come on, you not divining no I'm not divining I got a divining rod with a pendulum on it so that makes it all right right so I'll show you this is the power of this prospective stone whoa 
Whoa, look at that. It wants it. Whoa. So it's pretty powerful stone. Ooh. Gotta be careful with this sort of thing. And there's nothing on that side, but way. Look at that. So we can't let anybody get hold of this because it's got the power to overturn dogma. This is a stone that this is the stone that unlocked it all. This is a Rosetta stone. That's what this is. So it's going to be protected. <laughs> Got this special system here and oh look at that hooked up the electric fence no one's gonna pinch that <laughs> right yeah so the last thing to do is this sort of thing you gotta you gotta wet it all down before you say goodnight